about Connor's ability uh, to kind of brush off interceptions and how, how important that is to the system here? Well, I, I think it's really important. I thought uh, uh, I thought he played a pretty good game. I think he forced the one there on the sideline, which that was disappointing. But uh, I thought he played a good game, managed the offense, and uh, you know, other than turnovers, uh, we were in probably seven out of nine drives. You know. Talk about your defensive effort tonight. Another solid effort by those guys. I was really proud of them. Uh, they got a shutout, so I was particularly proud of that. And. Uh, and, uh, you know, they worked hard to get a shutout. And so uh, I was really glad to see him come up with it there at the end. And I thought, uh, you know, other than really two explosives, uh, played a pretty complete game. Uh, started to heat up really starting the second quarter. I thought uh, as a team that was our probably our best quarter. We played best the second quarter. I remember during fall camp you said Jeremiah LaFosso was a pleasant surprise. How, how good is it for you guys that that's translated into the games this year? A uh, good, strong, hard runner. And, uh, you know, uh, I can't remember. Had uh, two touchdowns, or you should have three, but had two touchdowns and then a long run. And just hits a hole, hits a hard, and uh, nothing fancy. Uh, no dancing, just goes. Mike, the, the last series defensively, what was your view of the, the penalty that you objected to, and, and did you kind of feel the feel and feed off of you after that? I, I don't know on all that. I, I know that, uh, uh, you know, uh, without uh, commenting on penalties at all, I, I felt like uh, uh, our, our guys deserved a shutout, uh, should get it, and, uh, and uh, so they did. So that turned out well. How much does he look forward at what you've been able to do the past few weeks? Obviously, Stanford and Seattle are going to be a big game, but do you look at what happened tonight and just feel like that gives you so much momentum going into Seattle? I, I don't know about so much. It gives us some. I thought we got a week better, and each uh, week you try to improve an increment. thought we did this week. Uh, you know, had a great week of practices. Uh, uh, other than some spots, I thought we had a pretty good game. Uh, played hard. I thought early on uh, tried to make a little too much happen all sides of the ball. Uh, and then when we settled in, we played better. How did you feel about the play of defensive line? Uh, about, I think it's 49 rushing attempts for a little under 80 yards. Uh, are you happy with the way they played up front? I thought they did play good up front, uh, which would really include all seven of them. You know, the, the front and the, and the linebackers. They have a lot of diversity to their quarterbacks. And I uh, and, uh, thought they did a good job. Uh, so, you know, and they're a lot, a lot like us. They're a team that's steadily improving. So. Speaking of that improvement, it seems like Vince Maley is getting more playing time every single game. Is it, is it just maybe becoming more comfortable in the system? More comfortable, playing better, uh, you know, where it's more automatic. You don't have to think about each little step and uh, just kind of more precise in those things. Coach, what was said between you and Petrino after the game? Well, that would be strictly between uh, he and I, so, you know, anything. Uh, uh, said between us it would be private, and uh, so we'll leave it at that. Coach, did you hear the uh, fans chant your name after the game, or, or during the, the end there, where they were chanting Leech, Leech, and how does that kind of make you feel about Cougar Nation having your back? Well, I, uh, we have tremendous fans here. I mean, our fans are off the charts, and uh, of course the student section there, they're enthusiastic even before the game starts, so I thought uh, really an impressive uh, showing by our fans. and. Uh, just a great environment to play. Hey, Connor, do you consider this a win against a rival or just a team that happens to be close by? Uh, I guess a team that happens to be close by. You know, you get, you know, you prepare for everybody the same. You, know, you try to have a great uh, week of practice. You try to improve as a team and uh, and uh, and just play the best you can. Play the best you can for 60 minutes, and uh, you know, there's no time to spare. And, uh, play the play as hard as you can for 60 minutes, and I respected that about them. They played hard for 60 minutes. Connor started two of seven. Uh, was there anything that changed, or was that just him settling down, or were you sharper after that? Settle down, try to make too much happen. Coach, overall, what were, what were your thoughts on Connor and really the offense just overall in general? Uh, I thought they improved. I uh, thought, thought we got better. Uh, uh, you know, just... Uh, Step the right direction, but we got plenty of room to work. I know against Southern Utah, when you guys had the big lead, you put Austin up at Oka and gave him some experience. What's your thought process in terms of 
whether he goes in at the end of games or not? Well, he would have gone in except they held the ball for so long. You know, they had the ball, uh, uh, what, something like 10 minutes in the fourth quarter or something. So he would have gone in, but, uh, but you know, we never, we didn't get the ball back until the end. Does the atmosphere feel like a rivalry game to you or just, a, just another uh, big home game? It really just kind of, a, kind of an intense game. You know, these uh, games here are, uh, are exciting and you're getting more exciting all the time. And, uh, you know, the fans are uh, really creating an exciting environment, so I would say it's kind of more along those lines, you know, I mean, uh, you know, all opponents are going to punish, you only get one game a week, so you try to make the most of it, I think our fans feel that way, too. What was it like playing against the two-quarterback system? Uh, well, you better get used to it, because there's a lot of them out there, and then uh, it gives them some diversity, especially if they can run it precisely. I thought their quarterback was really tough, I mean, he was... A very tough individual because we hit him hard a bunch of times and you know he never really tapped out and I thought he was tough the whole time. Uh, in the second half, uh, Idaho's running back, uh, one of their side, uh, James Baker, really really started to run on uh, the defense there a little bit. How were you guys able to kind of contain him, uh, especially going late into the third quarter there? Yeah, I think you know he's a. Is it, you're talking about the big physical guy. Mm -hmm. I, I think I think uh, big physical. Uh, you know, I, I, and uh, we were able to, to hold him in spurts, you know, I mean, because, uh, uh, you know, if one guy tackled him, he was going to move the pile some. And so we did a pretty good job of uh, getting more than one guy on him a lot, and which was important because he is a, he is a really big guy and a big, strong guy. Final question for Coach? Uh, Junior talked about respect everybody fear no one. Is that a kind of something that you instill and something that's different from last year? Uh, well, we talked about it last year. We're doing a better job executing.